another yacht delivery, um, taking a classic uh, Sadler 29, which I'm excited to sail from um, Buckless Hard to Bangor in North Wales. But the start of the journey is the train journey, and um, I've got a five hour trip down through through London and down to the south coast, which will be really great. Always enjoy the train journeys. It gives you time to plan the delivery and go through the Vitalin list and uh, do the final checks on on uh, requirements for the boat. It's a lovely Sadler 29 that we're moving for uh, a new owner. He's bought the boat unseen because um, they're so hard to get hold of. It's taken him 18 months to find it. It's particularly the boat he was looking for. It's a bilge keel. It's a really nice boat and um, he's excited to get it. You can see we've got our provisions there in the same spruce bags, some big kit bags and we've got a bit of work to do to get her ready. We need to put the mainsail on and possibly change the headsail. There's a couple on board and the one we've just unfurled was rather small. So uh, we're taking this afternoon and this evening to get the boat ready and probably leave it on tomorrow afternoon tight. How's the cleaning going? Oh, she's lovely. Where's the coffee? <laughs> it's alright, it's getting the Kettle's on. Kettle's on, that's right. Why are you busy? Well, after a day of prep, we are ready to set sail. Very, very light easterly winds. There's a big high pressure over the UK, uh, but the boat is looking a lot nicer now after being on the mooring for a number of months, uh, she's all shiny, engine's been checked, water tanks are full, We've run all the electrical systems, I've done a few little repairs, wind instruments are working, depth's working, and uh, we've all had lovely showers, and we're ready to put to sea. Um, out down the river, the Bewley River, out into uh, the Solent, down through the Needles, the tide is gonna start ebbing in another hour and a half, I think, and uh, on off to Portlandville. Uh, looking lovely the boat, it's really come up very well underneath all the bird nests, so very excited to get underway again. Lighthouse off Plymouth. We've had uh, some good following winds uh, on the beam on the uh, starboard aft quarter and uh, just behind us now. So we're running with uh, just a big Genoa up and uh, we're heading for Falmouth. We're 35 miles out of Falmouth. The sailing's been good and uh, we're running down seas. The sea gets up quite quite quickly and easterly down the channel and gradually builds as you go further west. It's nice rolling down the sea with the sun shining. Uh, we should be in the Falmouth uh, this afternoon, this evening, five o'clock. The uh, boat's going very well and she's a very sea kindly boat, so uh, enjoying these conditions. Carry your heart in your hand. Carry your love wherever you can. And I'll be waiting by the shoreline The day that you come home Oh woman Give me a chance for you to be my own Well we're just pulling into Falmouth uh, 26 hours after setting off We've had a very nice passage We're coming here for fuel anyway uh, Final stop before we round land then and head up to Milford Haven. We've got a problem with the batteries. We have the two um, house batteries, or the ledger batteries, they've uh, been overheating and so we've had to disconnect them 
and we're hopefully going to get some batteries. So we've got about a 24 hour stop in Falmouth, but it's lovely to be here. Lots of sailing boats out today on a gorgeous sunny day. It's beautiful. Well, it's a bank holiday weekend here in Falmouth. Uh, we got in yesterday and um, we've managed to source two new leisure batteries, some 80 amp hour leisure batteries from the local Trago store, which are very good. And we've spoken to the owner. He was keen to, for us to buy them and uh, install them. So we're waiting for the shop to open. It's Sunday morning here, waiting for the shop to open at 10 o'clock and we'll get on with installing the batteries. The old ones are out and um, space for new ones we've got a couple of get a couple of uh, fittings for them and hopefully we'll be on our way soon we've got to get some food and some fuel today but uh, found us looking rather beautiful in this lovely sunday bank holiday weekend weather as well uh, very very busy place cornwall's really really busy this year uh, but nice to be here and uh, nice to get the batteries and we can get everything fixed and get on our way Right, Phil, how was the pasty? Fine, yeah, Anne's pasty's up to up to the normal standards. Very, uh, very nice pastry. And Cornwall busy? Yeah, Cornwall was heaving. But very nice, you like Cornwall? No, it's lovely. True Rome is a special treat, especially the view around the harbour. You can't beat it. Happy to be on the way? Happy to be going to Wales. <laughs> Those Wales hat on! <laughs> <laughs> Who needs a courtesy flag when you've got a hat? <laughs> How's the curry then? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Crossing from the north coast of Cornwall to uh, the southwest tip of Wales, uh, across the Bristol Channel, part of the Irish Sea, and uh, got a big band of cloud that looks like it's funneled down between uh, Wales and England and the Bristol Channel, and it gives us a nice 20, 20, 22 knots. I've got uh, 70. 60% of the main out, uh, probably 30-40% uh, of the jib out, and we're, we're doing very well. Making uh, six knots, taking a few spray over, a bit of spray over the bows, but uh, yeah, doing very well. And there's a big bit of clear sky ahead. came in at five o'clock in the morning We're on the southwest corner of Anglesey at the entrance to the Menai Straits and uh, very nice to relax after a long passage to try and get here. I think we've done 240 miles, lots of headwinds and uh, it's nice to have a little bit of time. We can clean the boat today and prep for our passage. It isn't until uh, 15.30 this afternoon so we've uh, got up and had some eggs and toast and a cup of tea which is very nice. And, uh, 
peaceful few hours sleep. The body clocks are working on three hours on, three hours off, so we only had three hours sleep as it is. We'll probably have to have another snooze. It's a nice, nice anchorage, nice safe place to sit and wait for the correct tide to get through the Menai Straits. It's nice to have a, a stable night's sleep and not rocking around for a change. Thank you.